Hi, we're Connie and Chua, and together, we're Destination. It's been a few months since we've been back living on the road, and Texas really surprised us. We were impressed with the overnight rest stops like this one. One of the things I'm loving most is the opportunity to view so much wildlife. But I'm still waiting for the day I get to see a mountain goat. Joel and I look forward to watching the sunset every evening as well. Each day holds a new surprise, and we're not always sure of what to expect. Sometimes, we have no choice but to go with the flow of things. It keeps life interesting, that's for sure. What'd you buy at the gas station? A turkey leg. Hey, since we didn't have turkey for Thanksgiving, I make it up right now. Yeah, Cora. Mmm. Roger. Alright, how much did this cost? Four bucks. What? Oh, it's better than at the fair. No, it's better than at the store too, and they cooked it. <laughs> okay. Gosh, they used a lot of clear wrap on it though. I sure get off of me. Move. It's not for you. Go. Get off. Roger. Look at this. trailer might be able to make it so we're gonna just might. have an adventure <laughs> park worker kept telling us it's gonna be an adventure gosh i'm so nervous the reason why we're here right now is because we were going to stay at another boondocking spot yep but then they plastered like no camping sites everywhere so we couldn't stop there so we kept driving and driving and then we hit big bend we were gonna come to big bend after staying there for a few nights right yeah, but then while we were driving, we just ended up in Big Ben, so <laughs> here we are. Before this all happened though, we tried to go down a primitive campsite road and see if there were any campsites there, and then somebody told us that you have to reserve ahead of time. So we just went to the visitor center and the worker said it's gonna be an hour drive to get to our campsite on the high clearance road. So yeah, this day is very spontaneous right now. <laughs> There's Archer in the back. Archer! Hi cutie. And little Cora. Can't forget Cora. Well, hopefully nothing happens. We're able to come out alive with no damage to the vehicle or to ourselves. And you know what? I'm excited but nervous as heck. I'm just glad that we made it out of the primitive campsites because it was such a rocky road and I didn't know if there were any turnarounds either. Thank goodness, 
that there was a campsite where nobody was at yet, so we got to turn around on their campsite. <laughs> anyway, fingers crossed, we can make it. It's not so bad. We so far. This already. So yeah. Very up and down. Just like the park ranger said, we thought that the beginning of the high clearance road was easy peasy. And then it started to get more rocky with huge dips. to our campsite. It's been almost an hour, but there's a beeping inside of here. Oh, it's a thing. This is what it smells like. Wine? It's oh, it spilled. Oh my gosh. <gasps> but why is it beeping though? It's all over the carpet. Damn. Oh my gosh. So, where'd you put it? You didn't put it down. Where'd you put it? It was just on the kennel. Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh my gosh. I didn't expect to go on a rocky road like this. It's like wine, not propane. Yeah, it's confused. It's a lot of wine. Yeah. Oh, dang. Okay. I only had one glass. The wireless trailer brakes started acting up the last third of the drive, seizing up and jerking the FJ every few feet we drove. He was so angry. Never again. Not with the trailer at least. <laughs> but look how big this campsite is. Like in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. It's huge. It's meant for eight people. Four cars. Here's the bear box. Yep. The propane. Alarm is going off for the wine, so we gotta air it out. Where do all these other taxa owners? camp when they come to Big Bend because this was ridiculous but the view is gorgeous this whole rug is or runner is soaked and everything fell out we went up that one hill my plants kind of look sad they're lopsided it really reeks in here though gonna definitely have to mop wine disaster okay time to sweep and then mop good morning america it's super early right now it's almost nine o'clock and we're ready to start our day. I look gross, but look at this girl. She looks pretty. And uh, yeah, we had a rough night. It was about 40, 50 mile an hour winds. Everything was rocking. 
but you know what our rv was a champ and um we're gonna get ready we're gonna eat rice patties and we're gonna eat some um food here's our leftover plates leftover food gonna be our energy booster what we do 10 mile hikes today yeah, we came and hike because of the dogs. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I can't hike because of you. Do you know that? All right, guys, let's go. Oh let's go. <laughs> Your hair looks crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yes, it's cold. like a mix of corn <laughs> Dollars worth of quarters. No, eight dollars and quarters and two singles because we don't have change. This was ten dollars, but I really wanted it. We both saw Roadrunner today, so this is so cool. Too much of Big Bend at first, but we clearly made a judgment too soon. And then to top things off, this happened. There's three of them. Oh my gosh. Wow. They are very close to the bears. <laughs> wow. Look at the bears. Even go up yet. There it goes. Alright, we're gonna eat a little meal and pick me up for dinner. Tuna, potato salad, with saltines, cheese sticks, banana, protein bars, yogurt raisins, apple. And then we even brought ramen with some hot water. I'm gonna do a Lady and the Tramp glass. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Our 
Why did you let it go? Why did you? <laughs> He's like, where did it go? He's so little. <laughs> what happened, Cora? Why did you eat it? She's so confused. Getting cold. Yeah. Oh, I saw those two bear cubs. Oh you yeah, you did. Yeah, I didn't see the mama though. I saw them for like a second. All right, let's go. To update you guys, Joe and I saw our first ever wild bear. There was a mama bear with two cubs. So that's what that guy was talking us about. We told him about her, about them, and I guess they're just hanging out over here. So. We don't have any bear spray. <laughs> Hopefully we're safe. No one's running around screaming though. So. <laughs> yeah, it might be us. And she was right by the visitor center. So she must be used to human walking around. Maybe she doesn't ask. It's keeping my face really warm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll see her again. We're Hopefully coming. not. It's a beautiful morning. <laughs> It looks so Keep going. <laughs> I don't even know what it looks pretty epic here though. Huh? It looks pretty epic on here. Yeah. I told you. They're like a lot prettier though, but this just looks like Thailand or China or something. watching. If you like our content, consider subscribing. We'll see you all in the next one.